Hey there guys, Pony Smart is, and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use the PDF element and what you can actually achieve with it. So the first thing you want to do is just click here, try it for free. You will have a link down below in the description and then open the tool. Okay, now I had black screen because I had to like approve it. And then you can customize the installation. And then let's say I'm going to add it to different D and then I'm going to PDF element like this and install. So now we are going to wait until it's going to get installed. And then we will continue. So I will show you how we can use and edit your PDF documents. It's not that hard, not that difficult to do. And then we are going to continue. If you're also installing the video right now, you can other you can check other tools too. And we are here, so start now. And voila. So what options you have here? So you have options to compare PDF, you can combine PDF, compress it, convert the PDF, create PDF or batch the PDF. So let's say I'm going to open a file here. And let's say I'm going to open the invoice. And let's say I have invoice right here that I add that I got from Kajabi. And what I can do here. So when you're going to open uh, your PDF on left side, you can see the thumbnail, you can see bookmark, you can add a comment, you can even attach attachments to your PDF file. And then you have a comment here. So I can highlight something here like this. And let's say I can change the color to red. I can underline, underline it. See it's red right now, but let's say I'm going to underline it here. to green, then I can even strike through. So let's say I'm going to add it like here, strike through, and then you have option to insert carrot or a highlight. What I can do then is to simply add a rectangle on my PDF. I can add oval, even arrow. Then I can simply add a line, cloud, polygon or connected lines. Look at this. What I can do next is to note. I can type writer. So let's say I want to add next something something to invoice. So this would be invoice two and twelve. So what I can do is to simply add text here. And you can add the text bot or call out. So you can even edit the text here. And that's what you can do. Properties. And when I click on the properties, I can change the size of it. So I right click on my text on the properties. And then you can simply change the size here. Style, regular, bold, italic, bold, italic. Color, font. Or for admin typewriter and that's pretty much it so let's say you can even change you can change to something which is like let's say I want to have it like this one so what I could do I can literally copy the font that is here and do it also, right? And then also have a similar size. And this is how you can do it. And then let's say when you are finished, what you can do is to simply add a pencil or eraser. And you can erase stuff. So when I have a pencil, I can erase stuff. 
So this is pretty much it, how you can do it. And now yeah, let's say you have a question that you want to hide something. So I would create a rectangle here. I would click properties. Fill color would be white, color white. And then let's say I can simply add the text right here. And I would add it to front. And that's pretty much it, how you can do it, right? So this is something that you can do. And this is how we can do it. So let's say you would have it like this. If you want to delete something from your PDF file. Then you can, of course, edit. So let's say you can add text. That's something that we already did. And when you click on edit and add text, you can have all the necessary things and important stuff right here. See? Um, you can right click on it, order, bring forward, right now it's going to be, oh, send to front, now it should work probably, but this is pretty much it, how you can do it, you can edit the text on the right side, you can make it bold, you can make it italic, you're going to see the underline here, you can add even image to your PDF file. like this see and you can even watermark it or add a link so let's say you want to add watermark to your video i mean to your pdf file you can do that watermark type if it's going to be text or if you, you can even have not text here as a watermark, you can have something like PDF here or image. So let's say we want to have a text and content would be um, Kajabi, see? Then I can change the font here. Make it like this. And then click save, apply, see. And voila, here we have the motto mark. Then you can add the background, change the background or edit the header and footer. So I can click on a background, add a background. And let's say I want to have a color or PDF and other PDF would be as a background or image. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it. Now, that's pretty much it. Like then you have a convert here and you can simply convert PDF to Word, to Excel, to PowerPoint, to image, to text. So you got multiple options here, what you can do. Then you have tool here. You can compare the files, compare the differences when you have two files. You can even combine multiple documents to two PDF. You can compress and reduce the size of the document. You can flatten the file. You can even crop it or add a watermark. That's, a, that's something what we did. And that's pretty much it. Now, when you're going to click on view here, you can view it in multiple options. And then what you can do is to, as a form, add a text here. You can add a checkbox. Then you can add a radio button, combo box, multiple options. And you can even set a password for your PDF document here. And that's pretty much it, how we can edit it. And this is how we can simply use it. So if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. You know how it goes, you know how it is. And yeah, this is how we can simply use PDF element. Have a great day, guys, and goodbye. See ya.